Hey, what's up, guys? Polly Popo here. Thank you very much for coming to the channel. I uh, want to talk about something a little bit different today. Of course, we're going to talk about pizza. <laughs> this happens to be a slice of one of the pizzas that we make at La Pizza. And um, I just want to read a few articles and stuff and kind of fill you guys in when I'm not making music of what I do. So if you're from St. Louis, I'm usually Polly from La Pizza, but online I'm Polly Popo, so that's why I do that. Eat This, La Pizza in University City by Byron Kerman. I can't thank this, these people enough for doing this. This is like, I, I, I'm comparing this because it's almost like being in the music industry when you take a raw product and you turn it into something that people appreciate and that people actually invest in and buy to consume to give some energy to do their stuff for the day. So it's a big deal to be able to pump out any kind of product. So I, we are the, uh, a pizza aiolo is basically a producer. So we're the producers of pizza out here in St. Louis, okay? I just want to show you guys some of these nice things that people say about us. It's no surprise to find other people in the restaurant industry eating at La Pizza. The Pizza Rotti know that this U City hole in the wall has what just may, might be the best pizza slice in town. The hand-tossed dough is made by the owner, Paul Bishop. That's my dad. And that's my name too, but that's my dad, so don't get that confused. Uh, from a family recipe kept secret, even from his employees. And yeah, we don't let anybody else make the dough. Only me and Pops would do that. And it's nothing personal. It's just I can give you an MPC. I can give you my keyboard. I can give you that dough recipe, and it's not going to come out the same way. you got to just understand that. It, it isn't going to come out the same. It'll come out good. And the workflow is going to inspire you to do things your own way, though. That's the whole thing. Uh, just like making beets. It's baked until it's the perfect combination of chewy and crunchy and adorned with a simple fresh tomato sauce, 100% whole milk mozzarella. Guys, we've been here 20 years, and I've never really given any recognition to La Pizza on my channel because I didn't really want to, I didn't know. I didn't know you guys wanted to know more about this. So let me show you a little bit more. Let me show you a little bit more about what's going on here. This is my old man. Behind us is a beast of pizza ovens. Those are 1936 bludget ovens. I don't give a shit what anybody says. I have the serial numbers on them. They don't make the parts in them. They Dinosaur ovens. But yeah, he's taught me how to spin pies. I've watched him all my life do this. And this review right here, simply put, La Pizza offers some of the best pizza you'll ever sink your teeth in. And RFT, I'm not just saying this, dude. I mean, they wrote it, not me. And, and the pizza dough is fluffy, crisp, ham-tossed, mozzarella, 100% whole milk. Their owner, uh, Alums of Bob Seafood. Long story short, Bob's a man. You know, without him, we wouldn't have been able to do most, most of what we were doing except live the dream. It's like being able to finally have a, an artist say, hey, I want you to uh, produce beats for me. That's basically what Bob did for us. Um, so, yeah, I would still be making beats in my basement if it wasn't for a... a certain producer coming up to me and asking me to do him the same way this guy said well what do we need it was like well we need a spot we need money we know what to do and this guy actually backed us so it was su super cool if you guys want to read the article i'll just leave it up here for a second but i just want to leave it but he, bob seafood you he, when we started he had uh, we had a lobster pizza <laughs> we were not as seafood pizza I mean, it was crazy crazy we were just giving it away we didn't even advertise. We never advertised. Like I say, I've never put the, chan the pizzeria on blast like this before either. But man, what a good shot, man. What a good shot. Let's see here. More La Pizza stuff. Explore the cuisine here. Don't forget to taste nicely cooked pepperoni, calzones. We got calzones, strombolis, and stuff like that. It's really, really dope. But what I really wanted to talk about today is the other day I made a video talking about... Uh, Dave, how he made a video about his El Presidente, you know, if you don't know, just look up El Presidente Pizza, and he does pizza reviews, and blah, 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 I didn't know who this guy was, and he came in and gave us a review years ago, and to this day, I got people coming in there saying, did you see the review, like, it just came out, it's, it's just fire, so he really helped our business out a whole lot, these little write-ups are great, but this guy, unbelievable, the reviews that we get online, it's very powerful, Look at this. Nice little pie. We're going to play, man. Look at that. 
We do not play. This is the Roberto Clemente pizza. Um, again, long story short, here we go. After spending his childhood in New York City, then Puerto Rico, Paul Bishop found himself in Oklahoma City, very, very difficult situation. There was no good pizza to speak of. There was something he'd taken for granted living in New York, a place that has slices just the same as in Puerto Rico, okay? He, 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 there's probably more Puerto Ricans making pizza in New York than, than New Yorkers. Where he and his family would rotate their meals between outstanding Caribbean cuisine and the excellent pizza offerings that they found all around the island been spoiled and so when he showed up in the 1970s in Oklahoma there was nothing but Pizza Hut and Domino's so he became a craftsman as that he just decided he was done eating pizza altogether there was nothing in Oklahoma it was very isolated but finally they built a small and inside <laughs> they built a mall, and inside these Italians were building a pizzeria. I can tell the whole story a whole lot better than I'm reading in it. There was two Italian dudes building a pizzeria in here, and his older brother told him about the pizzeria because his older brother is crazy when it comes. Don't mess with him when it comes to eating pizza. And he's going to ask you what kind of cheese you have. And you say mozzarella, he's probably going to smack you, dude. He says, I wants to know what kind of mozzarella, how burnt the crust is, what kind of, if you don't cook it on a brick, he ain't going to be happy. Um, he'll take one look at you and, and spit you out. He's like the Timberland of, <laughs> of pizza. Uh, but yeah, he found the pizzeria and told my dad about it. And they ended up going there to eat, and the rest is history. <laughs> Uh, Bishop may not realize at the time, but his decision to go for work at a humble uh, mall pizzeria was set him in motion decades long journey that accumulated into one of St. Louis' most beloved pizzerias, La Pizza, 8137 Delmar Boulevard. That's super cool. You guys, go look up these articles. This is our little bitty pizza shop. I don't even know if you can, I hope you can see that. This is our little bitty shop. It sounds interesting, but I didn't know if I was ready to leave a 13-year career to go on an adventure. It's the same as the music industry, man. you got to leave everything. you got to be willing to put it all on the line. And nobody's going to believe in you. Nobody's going to believe in you. you got to do it. And look at this. Look at that. We're doing it. Calzones, Strombolis. These are orders. Look at that. Everything pen and paper. Dude. You write in the damn order on the box with a marker <laughs> uh, smoked salmon first pie yeah there's a lot of article here to read guys i but i want to show you this here um this is me at a pizza game i went to st louis and i don't really want to talk about it too much but i'm just going to play the video <laughs> So the dude talking, saying one more time, uh, actually he's he's one of the he's one of well known chef here in in St. Louis, but he was also running that competition. Somehow I came in third place when his pizzeria, yeah I'm gonna call you out, and uh, your pizzeria didn't finish two of the events. I was the only one who finished my event, and I finished all my events. You gave everybody else five minutes to throw their pizza. You gave me four. I think you were scared. And I'll call you out right now. I'll make a better pizza than you. I'll make a bigger pizza. I'll make it faster. I don't care. And this time you're not going to be the judge. And that's why your little event didn't go on the following years. Because I didn't show up. Anyway. This other guy right here. He's head of, he's the guy who made the dough. It was a beautiful thing. He's uh, head of the food place out here at La Col Culinaire. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And, of course, I had other people in the background were competing, which I'm going to give them props right now. I'm not, I'm not going to knock anybody. I'm saying you give credit when it's due and don't cheat to win because that shit sucks. All right, these are not my pizzas right here. This is a selection of slices from Pie Guy. Pie Guy, 
uh, I'm gonna tell you straight up. You know, I'm I'm not gonna be rude or anything like that, but your pies look great. You know, your little garlic knots, your sauce, and everything. The display is cool. I see you're busy as all get out, all the cutout marks on the on the pan here, but uh, you got some bubbly dough, bro. And I bet the bottoms are probably white because they're not cooking, and I know why. And I'll tell you why because if I'm gonna compete, I want to compete against good people or a good product and this can be a little better and you know it it needs to rise a little more dude you're you're putting it in there a little bit too early you you need to let your dough rise a little bit more period i don't know what you're using for flour or whatever but it's not it could be better our pizza could be better everybody's pizza could be better i'm just i'm being honest let's see what is that Belief that is more than yeah. We don't do Provel. Not nobody here is going to be doing Provel. For the past four years, this is Pie Guy. For the past four years, Mitch Frost has been serving up excellent New York style slices at his Grove Hotspot Pie Guy, four one eight nine Manchester Avenue, three one four eight nine nine zero four four four. Frost pies capture that greasy east. The greasy ease of the Big Apple's grab and go joints. I wish I could have read that better. Though they actually are in reflection of his painstaking research and experimentation. Hey, that's what it is, man. You Don't take my criticism lightly. Do experiment. Experiment. You're so close, dude. I was just saying. I, that's just a little thing. That's all you need is the dough. We got Pizza Head. Let's see what I got here. We got Pizza Head right here. Let's read this together. <clears throat> Punk Rock Vibes permeate Pizza Heads 3196 South Grand Boulevard 314-266-5400 South Grand Storefront. South Grand is kind of in the hood. I'm not even going to lie, but good things come out of the hood, man. I came out of the I came out of South City, so I even have, if you've ever seen my tattoo, it's from South St. Louis. I came out of there. But I'm just telling you, you might want might to go a good time to say that. As much as it's East Village music vibe, cool. So go there and chill out with some music and stuff. Though it's hard to be angsty when you're noshing on the amazing white pie with spinach and artichokes. Okay. Sounds like a vegan place or something. Racanelli's. That uh, I'm going to give mad props to, okay? I'm not going to say anything negative about Racanelli's. A local staple since the mid-90s. Racanelli's multiple locations. Uh, it takes multiple locations to get on the list, apparently. Including 8161 Big Bend Boulevard, Webster Groves, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you what is synonymous with New York style pie in St. Louis thanks to the owner John Racanelli's family and Italian American restaurant background which traces its roots back to the Bronx. Yeah, Johnny Racanelli and Sammy Racanelli and Vito Racanelli. They were all three brothers and they had the shop back in the 90s and um, very very cool people. Very very cool people. Um, but I would definitely give the store out in O'Fallon, Missouri Mid Rivers Mall, the one that Henry runs, because uh, that's as close to our shop as you're gonna get. Because we both know that. Uh, we both know. We all know. Pizza Go Go. Founder Frank Lafada opened there. God bless you, Frank. Um, six seven zero three. Dude, I've been to this place when we didn't have a pizzeria to go to. When we weren't open up, me and Dad would go to this place, and we would see Frank sitting there, an old man sitting there in the middle of the restaurant, and we would order a pizza each, and we would sit there and eat the pizza. And it was a great experience and a great time. Sometimes it's your atmosphere that you're in when you just feel right at home. It, that made me feel right at home, and it was like the first time I had ever been in there. All right, here it is, La Pizza. Here it is. Ask any New Yorker transplant where to go for pizza, and after they stop laughing, they will all have the same answer. La Pizza, 8137 Delmar Boulevard City, University City, 
314-725-1230. This tiny university city shop is the area's gold standard, which is why calling ahead is a must. That is super cool. Um, and big shout out here to, to Cheryl for writing such a nice article about all of the pizzerias. And I know not all the pizzaiolos here in St. Louis can take the time to make a video thanking you. But from the bottom of all of our hearts and our families, we thank you for all this stuff. It makes a huge difference. Um, just to get a mention and a little recognition, a little credit when it's due, goes a long way, guys. So I don't want to read any of the people's comments. I want to read what the publisher wrote. So if you guys want to read those, that's fine. But other than that, I'm really proud of our little shop, guys. We've come a long way, guys. And uh, we're going on 20 years. I think it's super dope. And let me know what you guys think about the video. If you'd like to see the inside of the shop or some of us in action, I'll bring the camera up there on a Saturday night and I'll give you guys a hell of a show. All right, you let me know. I'm Polly Popo, and I will see you guys on the next one.